hey guys, hey guys, hey guys and gals. Hello ladies and gents. This is Sunday. I'm chilling. I got the roast in the oven. It's almost completed. I'm going to do the potatoes and the mixed vegetables a little later. Um, our, light went, our lights went out on the complex for a while. So Pink not going to make it today, so she'll be here tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping some gifts. Y'all see my tree? Voila. I'm going to wrap a few gifts. Pink been trying to get me to start forever. I kind of felt like it today. So I canceled my encore that was supposed to happen. Well, supposed to happen at 2. The lights went out, so I changed it to 4. Then I said, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and wrap some gifts. So I changed it to tomorrow at 3. So it'll be the wrap fest uh, replay at 3 p.m. on Monday. I think tomorrow is the what, 27th, maybe. Say Monday 27th, Tuesday 28th, Wednesday 29th, Thursday 30th. Yeah, that's right. 27th. I'm just about to wrap, start wrapping some gifts. Got the fireplace back there on the um, television screen and my paper. And my tree is white with purple, silver, and whatever that color is. It's like a turquoise or something like that, I think. I'm going to just wrap a few gifts. i got to go through them. This is just a few I have right here. So I'm just going to do that. And chill a little bit. Chill it. Uh, kind of relaxing the day. This paper right here is so thin. So, I have to wash these. I have to go ahead and do those. I'm not real thin. It's just judging the amount of paper to use. <laughs> But we'll make it work. I just tape it help it now. Yep, so what have y'all done today on this Sunday? Beautiful Sunday. I think went to the Dollar Tree, so she was excited. She said it was really, she said it was cute outside. <laughs> uh, Carl, she was in a car. She said, I'm gonna get out. Then she called back, talking, asking about something. She said, you're in the house. Dog, oh, girl, I'm still sitting in the car. It's so cute out here. Oh, okay. This might be too little, guys. Who knows? We'll try it. If not, i got a couple other smaller gifts to wrap. But I am the world worse to trying to figure out how much stuff it needs to. I think it might make it. Yeah, I think it will. Maybe... I'll turn it upside down and this part will be down and they won't know. Yeah, almost. So I'm just chilling and smelling the great aroma of this roast. We ate breakfast not too long ago, so we probably not gonna eat till probably around seven. But I will I am gonna go ahead and um, do a video on the smothered potatoes. Only ask me if I would do that, so I am. I love, love, love cooking. My mom was a dietitian, so I guess maybe that's why I was always cooking something at the house. People would come. Far and near. Eat dinner with his child. And I'm trying to learn how to cook a little. That's my, that's my issue. I just, we always cooked a lot. So it's really hard for me to cook a little. I always cook too much. But, it's like leftover, so that's good. I don't particularly care for them, but yeah, eat them so that's all that matters. Uh oh, I didn't even look. I'm just wrapping up. I ain't even looking to see who it belongs to. 
see now. I got the other one sitting here, so two of them. Yeah, so I'm just kind of taking my time. But I'm wrapping this up. This guy's so a watch. I'm getting it together. I'll show you probably when I finish it. It'll probably be easier for me. Got clothes washing. Roasted up with clothes washing. I'm wrapping gifts. So I'm kind of busy today. Oops. It's not that loose, can you? This uh, paper is so dainty. Have to be careful with it. These nails, I just stuck a hole, a whole hole in it. Yeah. That's the only thing I like about it. This is pretty thin. But we found, we got this paper last year somewhere. I don't know where we were. I don't remember. We always buy too much paper. We like to catch it too when it goes on sale at the end of the season. So uh, all this real high paper will be well five or six dollars, it'll be two dollars. Yeah. And we just go bananas. <laughs> and we that don't help for each other because we both have issues with that. So. That's pretty much all I'm doing. A little scared when the lights went off because you know Bruce is on oxygen. So I had to call a facility. And just as I called and the nurse called me back, the triage nurse, I told her the lights had just came back on. So that was good. So I asked her what they do in a case like that. She said they just called the company and had them to bring some more portable tanks. So she has like two. But that only lasts, what, maybe a couple hours or so. So I didn't want to wait trying to see when the lights was going to come back on, you know what I mean? And then they don't come on. I call them the last 15 or 20 minutes. No, I had to give them enough time to get everything set in place. So but I had called Centerpoint and they said it was going to be like 3 o'clock or so. But they came back on in about maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes or something. I was glad, but I just wanted to make sure I contacted somebody. So, yeah, so this is the completed one. And I know I'll get my nails done. Maybe not this week because it's supposed to be raining and nasty. So maybe not this week, but. I don't have no name tag, so I'm just writing it with this marker. I might need that thicker one, though. And I don't even know if I can see this, Lord. It has a little hard, but I don't have all the lights on because I wanted y'all to see the tree lights. Okay. One down, guys. Let's sit right there might be kind of funnish. Put it again for the next one. I need to put it a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. I have so many gifts. Getting old, you have to write the names on them so you can remember who they're for. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. I'm going to be saying, Lord. Huntington, y'all went on. See, got the names on there, a reminder. Yeah. Be like that sometimes. My sister got the wrapping. I think it was last year. And didn't put no name on it. And forgot who it was for. So we just had to open the gift to see who it was. How funny is that? She older than me. So, but, uh, that's why I be writing my names on mine. 
I don't even know how we're doing Christmas this year. Pink and I were talking about that because, you know, with the, everything going on. And she was a little sad because I don't think she usually had Thanksgiving at her son's house. But they were saying, you know, they don't know because, you know, nobody don't want to keep no mask on, which is true. Oh, not all the time. And, Y'all, they usually start around maybe two or something and last, you know, like you're at work. <laughs> One or two and it'll last to like six or seven, so but that is a long time. So the CDC was saying to everybody keep dinner, schedule a time to meet up on Zoom. And eat like that. So I guess that's what everybody's going to be doing. So I told Trees, we got all these gifts. And so we're going to have to find us a hub, a meeting place, and everybody just come over there with a mask on and we, we got names on them. And maybe we can separate them before we leave home for the family and just put uh, a bag put all the same family members in one bag and write their name on that bag like a trash bag or something. Guess we could do the same thing. Schedule a time to meet on Zoom. Put everybody over their stuff. Um, I, I told her she could come over here if she wants to. So I know it's not the same like a family, but at least you won't be home by yourself. And I told her if the tables were turned, that's what I'd do. I felt like I was going to be sad by myself. But I just don't think it's good either to, uh, I don't think it's good to go mingling with folks. Because they were saying it's really best to stay within your bubble. Like with the same people you've been around all the time. Because you don't know what somebody else got. They don't know what you got, and so many people that are asymptomatic, they don't have any kind of, you know, symptoms. But you might uh, be having issues, or your immune system is compromised, and if they're around you, then there you go. So... Let everybody know too, because we're bruised. So, and, you know, I had that double pneumonia way back when, so my lungs not the best 100% either. So, and I have allergies. So I, don't, I don't want. I don't want to uh, chance it. I go do everything else. I keep my mask on. Get my nails done. They have a mask as well. And when I get my hair done, I keep my mask on the entire time. Yeah. So. I ain't going out like that. I can help it. They say the mask don't work. I'd rather have it on. I'd rather. I go not need it and have it than I need it and not have it. There we go. So, don't say Jesus ain't real. Well, I'd rather serve him. If he ain't real, there ain't no loss. Then not serve him, and then you find out he's real and it's too late. Then what you gonna do? That's it. But I know he's real. Why? Because he's real in my soul. I know he's real, real in my soul. 
For he has have a sense of self. For he has cleansed and washed and made me whole. Oh, his love for me is just like pure gold. Yes, God is real. For I can feel him in myself. Oh, yes, God is real. He's real in my soul. For he has cleansed and he's washed and made me whole. Oh, his love for me. It's just like pure gold. Yes, God is real. For I can feel. Yes, God is real. For I can feel. Yes, God is real. For I can feel Him in my soul. Oh, yes, God is real. He's real in my soul. It's for my, uh, I forgot to show y'all the watcher, sorry. This is for my, um, uh, nephew's wife. Get ready to wrap it. And this one is for my cousin. The twins' mom. Yeah, yes, God is real. He's real in my soul. Yeah, this ought to be enough for both of them. And God. Yes, God is real. For I can feel. Yes, God is real. For I can feel. Yes, God is real. For I can feel. Him in my soul. Yes, God is real. 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 He's real in my soul. Yes, He's real in my soul. He's real in my soul. I think I need that pickle marker, guys. He's real in my soul. Gonna be right back in a minute. He's real in my soul. He's real in my soul. I'll be right back.
Help is out of there. It's a thicker one. I just gotta work a little bit better for me. Anything about it, but my um, last doctor's appointment, which was when, the 22nd, I think that was Thursday. Yeah, I went to the doctor office and to the uh, I think it was a full day. Then I left there and went to the grocery store. So I was busy as a bee, but uh, yeah. Um, they gave me a good report. They said I was doing super fragile casualistic espialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you're always self-recocious. Super califragilistic espialidocious. Woo! So they said I was doing super amazing. I am so much further along than I should be. And they released me to drive. So I am excited about that. And they come and keep up the good work. I'll still be going to therapy. I went from a boot to a brace, which I haven't worn yet. But when I left there, I had my uh, regular shoes on. And I did therapy in my regular tennis shoes. So that was good. Uh, my ankles did swell a little bit but not a whole whole lot so everything is just coming right along I appreciate you guys concerns as well as your prayers because I know that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much and keep me lifted so that I can get on back to being a Tanya get on back to walking right you know other than that, that's the only thing is, is walking right because everything else is good. Walking. I still kind of favor that leg or ankle. I guess that's going to just be like that a while. I do it subconsciously. So I guess my mind knows <laughs> that I broke it. So I find myself sometimes when I'm walking not really bending bending it like I would so I was like okay Tanya you can't really favor it but I guess it'll come with time I just probably, it'll probably just happen one day I'll just be walking and realize I'm walking normal but it's still a little sore right on, on one of the on that outer side not the inner side where I um Injured that ligament on that side, so I'll probably do that until that's not sore anymore. I guess I don't know, but it's just it's just weird how your subconscious works, and it does. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm doing good. Thank God every day for it. So, so much better than I thought. So excited. They said, Ooh, I'm glad you can drive. Yeah. She was wearing me out. <laughs> but she's a trooper. She hung in there, guys. Never said nothing. If she saw that, I didn't know. But that's good. And when you're already feeling down. All you need is for a friend to say something. And you're already sensitive anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
I'll be moving around. They'll be glad and come just sit down here and prove until I get back. So yeah, tomorrow I have a couple gifts I need to get out. My godmother's birthday is thirty Thursday the 29th. And my goddaughter's birthday is actually tomorrow. But I text her grandmother and told her I'm sending a gift to her house, but it's going to be late. She said, oh, that's fine. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I'm working on. I don't know therapy this week. This is nasty. I'm glad. But I say another cold one is going to come through on next Sunday, so uh, find me some more to put on. Well, when I go on the 6th, I go back on the 6th. I think I go back to the doctor on the 19th. Then I'll call my employer and see what I need, to, uh, when they want me to bring the paper to them. Do I need to take it to the office or do I need to email it to somebody or what? So, my last day is the 30th, but I work Wednesday through Saturday. So, I think it'll be more like mm, the second or the third or something. So that'll be good for December. So that means I'll just only be off Christmas Day. So okay. All my plans got changed. I usually try to be off for. Like, um, like Christmas is on a Friday, so we'll be on Friday, have to go back Saturday. If I had time, I would take the Saturday off. But we'll come back for a day. I would do it for Christmas and New Year's, but um, so I just have to work it. But it's okay, job. Thank God I got a job. That's the main thing, like that. Prayerfully, I won't have no issue when I get back to work. Keep that, obey that and pray for me that there's no issues. I've been out so long, three months. But, you know, I have a doctor's stuff. So, it's a thing, so. I have my food hollering. Let me go check on it. It's my roast. Be right back. I had the timer set on it, but I wanted to make sure it went on off. It did. But now all I have to do is the... Is the uh, potatoes and the mixed vegetables. But like I said, it'll be a while before we eat anyway. So. I'll probably... This is three now. I'll probably get up and do it around six or five or something. I don't know, but I'll do it. I'll get it done. Okay, okay. I look through all this stuff, see who all this stuff belongs to. That's all right. Oh, oh. so I can see if I need to buy anybody else anything. I don't think I do. I think just my sister. Cause she, see her birthday is December 7th, so I got her some stuff, but I got that for her birthday, so. Uh, I don't know, I want to get up with Christmas. 
fit. I don't know about my pajamas. Uh, I'll try to find that. I went and bought all these clothes. Uh, Burlington had a sale. Oh, you hear my fireplace over there? Burlington had a sale. Was having a real good sale. They had shirts and all that, jackets and stuff. But like, this was like, like this was. But yeah, we was wearing masks, but it wasn't before the pandemic, but yeah, we were wearing masks, so, but I think it was like, it was way before I broke my ankle, so, I think it was maybe like in June, in May, or June or something, I don't know, but anyway, we bought up a lot of stuff there, three or five dollars, we bought so much because it was so cheap. It was like, oh man, we just can't leave this. Because I was so crazy. You spent $100 and you had like three or four bags of stuff. So, it was pretty cool. I told Pink the Lord knew because had not been for that, <laughs> they would have been messed up. So yeah, now you see why I be saying let's get started early because she's always started early. That's why she always usually ends up with so many gifts for her grandkids and stuff. And she always start early and just buy a little at a time. I always buy the off season anyway too. Catch the sales. Try to tell people that's the way you shop. Especially for clothes. In the winter time you buy the summer clothes. And in the summertime you buy your winter clothes. I don't know if he's having a bad dream. What are you doing here? No sleeping. And Halloween. Oh, I'm waking up for what? Some days, his dementia, uh, act up worse than others. So keep him in your prayers. That dementia is something else. It really is. And you, as a caregiver, you just have to remember to not take anything personally. You know, it's not a lash out at you, per se, but. but he hasn't been, you know, like, real mean and crazy, which crap, but he won't get that way. Yeah, my mom had it, had it too. She was pretty good too, I think her and I got into it maybe one time. And I had to let her know who was in charge. And after that, we had no issues. She was sweet as pie. I never hit her, never done nothing like that to her. Uh, well, anybody gets asked me anything, she'll tell them to ask me, ask my daughter. This would be so funny because when her, when she, is talking, we'll just say from a dementia perspective, she called me Tanya, which is my name, of course, but when she's just the normal mom, she called me Patty Cake, <laughs> so that's kind of how I can differentiate, and the doctor be like, you know that young lady right there? I give she's had an episode, and take her to the doctor, or whatever, before they put her on hospice. And last time they was like, well, nothing else we can do for her, you know. She's at the hospice state. And you want to put her somewhere or you'll do it at home. That's what I chose to do it at home. And uh, the last time we went to the doctor, 
uh, so they told us about hamsters. They are uh, early on off my train of thought. Okay, they told us about hamsters. Next, is what we're gonna do at home or whatever. Oh, they brought in the crash cart, y'all. I was up there by myself. I call my sister, who's scary. And uh, so I was like, you know, what is this for? They was like, well, this is a crash car in case something happens and we need to, uh, you know, her blood pressure get too low, whatever. And we need to bring her back and hook her up to the machine that knows a shocking thing. We need to shock her. I was like, oh, Lord. And um, I said, she may not need it, but we just have it right here. But they say her pressure and stuff was falling. So I was calling everybody. And my sister was right downtown. She worked for the police department. And we were at St. Joseph, which is downtown as well. So she could have been there 15, 20 minutes or whatever. But I think she was scared to come. And she was, she was crying and stuff. And I was like, oh, wow, I don't know. And mom, like, wouldn't talk, I guess she didn't feel like it, I don't know. And they uh, brought the crash cart in, and I called a few people, asked them to pray, whatever, one of my best friends, um, childhood friends, actually, since fifth grade, I believe it is, over 40 years. She worked downtown, too, at Memorial Herman Medical Center, and she just, like, she just appeared out of nowhere, like an angel or something. And she just was walking so quietly, and she walked in the room with a smile. And if I tell you, that was such a blessing for me. I said, girl, where'd you come from? And she just smiled. She said, I came from down there. But like she, I didn't even, and I was standing right there. I didn't even see her walk up the hallway to get there. Just like she just appeared in the door, smiling. And uh, anyway, she came, and I hugged her. I said, oh, I'm so glad you came. And um, mom spoke to her and she said, hey, Mother McGowan. And she spoke to her, hey, baby, how you doing? I ain't seen you in a long time, whatever. My nephew, my sisters, uh, my friend, Minister uh, Sharon Boyd, she came. My cousin Candy, they was all up there. And she knew where everybody was and all that <sighs> and stuff. And they didn't have to use the crash cart. I was so excited so excited about that and then I think they may have kept her like another day and she just got confused she wouldn't uh, told I was leaving that night she told me okay and all that but she didn't remember so the next day when I got there because it was like all night I was up there at the ER they said we're gonna keep her put in a room yada 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 so I finally went home and then um after I finally went home, I got a little sleep, and I came back up there. They were so happy that I had come. They said, she been up all night, hollering, calling. You must be Tanya. They said, she been calling for Tanya and her son-in-law first. And she was crying and hollering. They said, one time, she had almost, they got in there just in time. She had almost fallen out the bed because she was trying to get up to come find us. And so when I got there, she started crying. I said she ain't seen me in three days. She been calling for me, and I said, "Mom, no, it hasn't been three days since last night I was here, and I'm back today. It's just been a few hours. No, it's been three days. I can't believe you leave me up here with these people. And the thing that I know about dementia, Alzheimer's, whatever they're telling you is their truth." So that's, to them, what's going on right now. So you cannot try to convince them otherwise. So I just said, oh, okay, Mom. And I got there, and it was like, I said, well, just give her something so she can relax. Because she was, you know, just acting up. And they, they were so glad to get her over that. I don't know what they gave her, y'all. My mom slept for like three days. I was so scared. I said, oh, Lord, did they kill her? And she would wake up, I would wake her up, and she would just open her mom, mom, eyes. I'd say, Mom, 
she say huh? And open her eyes and then she just goes back off. I think it took like three days for real. For that stuff to wear off of her. And um, so then after that wore off and everything, that's when they sent her home. But yeah, my sister used to be trying to make her understand what she understands. I was like, no. Girl, uh-uh. She ain't gonna understand what you understand. That's not her mindset right now. So, it's something though. You just learn a lot. And when you read up on it, you, you learn a lot about the left and right side of the brain and how it functions and what makes them do the things they want to do and say the things they want to say and all of that. It is really pretty interesting. I was reading some old stuff on it the other night about Bruce because he has some little different changes that um, I didn't know about him before. And um, you know, I was just saying pretty much that pretty much I'll come with it, you know. The way the way they brain think when they have dementia. So I was like, oh okay. So it kinda um gave me a sense of relief because I was like, what is going on with him? And when I read that, I was like, Oh, okay. So that's what's going on. I'm gonna switch this paper out, guys. I love this one right here. I think I'm going to open it, too. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my God. It matches my thing. Pink started with this foolishness. I used to just wrap the uh, gifts with whatever color I see. You know, whatever paper is cute that I like. And after I met Pink, she has always wrapped her gifts with paper that coordinates her tree. And so, first year we met and I saw that and looked, I was like, oh, that is so awesome. It looks so nice. And so I kind of been doing it ever since. But this year, we said we ain't have time to be going to stores looking for stuff. So it's gonna be a little bit mixed. But what we'll probably, what I'll probably do is put all of the ones that match to the front and those other ones to the back. Yeah, but this paper we got last year. It's, that's awesome. Yeah. So, I got this phone sitting on some boxes that I need. I think I'm going to wrap one box and switch that box out and put it there or something. Let me figure it out in a minute. Yeah. So, I'll probably do this for a while. I may make a few videos doing it. And this one is getting close to an hour, so I might let it go a little longer and then see whose shoes are these. Oh, this is, so I got the twin um, tennis and the twin tennis and my other um, great nephew, the youngest one, a pair as well. So this is Coop's Tennis. From Vans. That cute. Trying to hold it so I put it back in here, child. That cute, huh? Yeah, he wear a six. The other twin wear a five. And I think my great nephew wear a one or two. They like the twins and my great nephew is like a year apart because she's so much smaller than them. So yeah, this is Cooper's Vans off the wall. I'm about to wrap this, but you know. I'm so glad I got all this stuff early. I like to do it for the kids. I remember when I was growing up, I used to come wait. And my birthday being close to Christmas, maybe what, a couple weeks after Christmas. But my mom, my mom and dad, my godmother, 
my godmother's um, mom, which is my godmother's my godmother and my cousin, which is my aunt, Aunt Dooley. She's been dead for many years, but still back when she was here, she always got me something for my birthday. And my close friends would give me Christmas and birthday. Or if they ask, I'd say I'd rather birthday. I like them both, but I'm more concerned on my birthday, I expect a gift. <laughs> You know, for my friends, I do the same thing on your birthday. So, that's kind of how we do it. This is long enough, Charlie, so I have it short. Don't be mad. <laughs> now, this is some thick paper. That other one was thin. The polka dots on there. And I had a couple situations. Uh, he can't me too. Uh. Yeah, this one ain't gonna tell this all with the field of the shadow. Oh, there it goes. I don't talk to the truth, honey. Here. I'll show you these two items. And I got a couple more too. Let me get them to show y'all. So we ain't even got Halloween yet, I know. We don't really celebrate Halloween, so. And Thanksgiving. Sometimes I'll decorate for Thanksgiving, though. Give me a nice, um, centerpiece. I think I have some pumpkin salt and pepper shakers. If I do, I'll just pull them out. Let me show you these other, um, couple things, couple items I have. Pink brought me. Let me get a couple more. I think we ended up getting these last year too. Okay. So here is blowfish. Isn't that cute? This is a guy on the tree for a while. I just ran. Oh. Oops. I'm the bus up against that guy here. I watch myself. I've been to put the whole Thing you hang it on a tree with, girl. Tell them about me. I think it was last year. This was like, did you just cut the thing you hang on with? Yeah, girl, they have. They would just sit it in the tree then. But yeah, now this one's telling me it's glass. So I feel this gonna break. La, la, la. One more little piece here. Cut off. We're gonna go ahead and find some other piece. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. I'm going to show you the other one because I'm going to put them both up when I get up. It is a camper, guys. Look at that. Is that the cutest? Look. What? Just a thing to hook up when you're there. Hook up to the thing. Who's mm. who you talking to? Yeah, 
just go hard in that for time, God. My God, he hasn't been belligerent or anything. Thank you, God. Now some people talk about how belligerent their loved ones get when they you know, get like that. I don't you need it. They won't try to fight me and all that stuff. I'm glad because I've had to take her somewhere and she start fighting and stuff because I can't get beat up. Uh-uh. I know this one lady, my um, sister used to take care of the lady. She beat her daughter up all the time, black eye, everything. Cause she be in there trying to clean her up or whatever. She just start biting. Like, uh uh. But I think you just have to let them know that you're not gonna allow them to act like that. <coughs> and if they don't act like that, they gonna be able to stay with you. I told my mom from the beginning, I love you to death, I want you to be here, but if, you know, you fighting and throwing stuff at me and hitting at me and I'm trying to take care of you, I'm not going to do it. I ain't got no issues with her, thank God. I got my Kleenex way over there, you know I need it. Oh, here one right here. Okay, I'll show these other two things. Look at later. I want to be like this. You can see the little decorations on the side. Look. <laughs> All right, let me put them up. Ah! Let's see where we can find them. Put them, guys. Two y'all ready? So full, Lord. Uh, this thing put another thing on me. Clean stuff. Want to be able to be seen. Here's the blowfish, and here is the camper. Yay, we made it. What I do with this Kleenex? I can wipe my nose. Okay, cool. Camper and a blowfish. Alright. Okay. And this is another one. We saw this after Christmas. I think we got these two items. I think those two came from Walmart. I think these two came from uh, Michael's. Look, gingerbread boy. Oh, snap. He got his hood snapped. And this is Santa's boots, guys. Look. Can you believe it's Santa's boots? I may make this a centerpiece for Christmas. Put some, um, probably like some purple and silver flowers or, or, or berries or 
uh, bead something to just kind of coordinate with my colors. That's cute. I had it sitting over here by my television. I just wanted to show you guys. I'm going to get ready to wrap this box of uh, tennis shoes for Coop. yesterday too. I've been enjoying these chilly days. Like, Lord, I don't know what I'm doing. I go back to work. It's going to take me a minute to get back in the swing of things. Three months, that's a long time. It don't seem like it's been so long, but it definitely has. And I've enjoyed it though. And it was under these circumstances, but have enjoyed being Get out and get to the. Usually taking the super cut. But. Can't do that. So. I just flip it the best I can, y'all. Think you fine with it. Let me get on his nerves around his ears. Okay. Oh, this type of style is pretty, huh? Man. This is how you It's heavy too guys. Probably two or three pieces of tape on here. See? Oh, it's so heavy I want to hold the tape. I want to hold it. I'll do it three times. Three different spaces that I hold it on that. I was gonna do a live, but I was like, I'm not gonna be able to talk, and keep up with the chat, and I'm trying to wrap it. Everybody saying I didn't speak to him and all of that. So I just said I'll just do a video and upload it. That's what I'm doing. got started maybe I get in the spirit of it and I try to come back some more this week and start rapping some more it'll take me a while because I'm not a big gift rapper yeah. I'll get it done
Yep, so I'm just wrapping gifts. That's what we're talking, huh? I got us over the top of you guys. Huh? And that's why I didn't want to shoot no chat. <laughs> it would have been the same thing. I haven't gotten any bowls yet, so. I'll get some bowls. Whenever I go back to therapy on the 6th, I need to go to Burlington. Anyway, I got some items I need to take back, so I'll probably do that and see if they have some bowls. And if they do, I get some. And if they don't, I don't worry about it. You know, some of the stuff I had bought had got pushed quite a bit of stuff, and some of his stuff was too small. So I'm just going to take it back. Not all of it. I got him some, I got him some uh, summer stuff that he would leave like some shorts and stuff to just lay around in the house to go to the doctor. That was before now. 